So hey guys, you guys know that I do not like to talk about money that much. Now, I will talk about money per se. I don't necessarily like to talk about my money. <laughs> so um, for one, I feel like it's a little bit braggadocious and I don't want to be braggadocious or anything like that. But I um, do think that it's important for women um, to know how to increase their wealth. And um, I am a huge uh, believer in having multiple streams of income and just so happened someone requested this video. So um, I hope you enjoy it and I hope you uh, did enjoy it. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't wanna come off braggadocious, but I do want to let you know that I'm not anybody special that you also can uh, have multiple streams of income and live your best life out here like we're doing. And um, yeah, I just, I just, I just felt that I needed to kind of, kind of say that because I don't want to come off like, oh, I'm doing this and I'm doing that and I'm this and that. No, I just want people to know that if you put your mind to it, if you put the work in, then you'll see results. So that's all guys. Um, yeah, so as I said, this was a requested video and I hope you guys enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jamesia Capri, the nurse practitioner extraordinaire. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I am going to talk about streams of income because you know, in this economy, the pandemic, whatever, in general, you really do need to have different streams of income. So this is a requested video. I am going to be talking about different streams of income uh, as a healthcare provider and, or anyone really for that matter. But today I'm actually going to focus on the things that I know about and the things that I use for different streams of income. So um, as you guys know that um, the first thing I might as well just talk about, get it out there, that I have a business, it's called Bon Capri. And this particular business sells a product. So as a nurse practitioner in the healthcare field, I have designed a nurse practitioner journal so that it helps guide the new nurse in the clinical setting. It also helps guide the new nursing student in the clinical setting. So um, I will leave the link to that. So that is one of the streams of my, um, one stream of income that I have. And that is, it, it, it's kind of passive and um, active that I have to push or um, promote. And normally I'll just either mention it on a video or I'll go out to an event and sell my product. I have my shirt on right now. This one says it's dope to vote Von Capri. I don't know if you guys can see that. But anyway, so get yourself some type of product that you want to sell. So as a nurse practitioner, in PA, whatever, nurse in the nursing field or the health field or whatever field, fitness, whatever, get a product that you can sell. Now I do have a website, a separate website from Bon Capri, but I'll talk about that in another video because it kind of just um, focuses on just me. And Bon Capri is my daughter and myself. So number one, get a product, okay? So um, next I also have an affiliate link. So what I do with my products that I love and use, I put an affiliate link in my uh, videos. Now you can have an affiliate link with anyone, Walmart, Target, any brand that you, you know, sell or like to, excuse me, buy or like to promote, you can have an affiliate link. Almost everybody has affiliate links, but I personally use Amazon. And Amazon affiliate link is pretty easy. You just have to sign up for a affiliate link to be an affiliate. And you have to have a website, you have to have some type of followers or whatever, um, and you can earn income. Honestly, guys, I haven't earned a lot of income from the Amazon affiliate link, but I still get, I actually do get in income. So, so I'm somewhere right around $100 a month doing absolutely nothing, just pretty much talking about the topics that I love. So 
have an affiliate link. Number three, do some type of speaking engagement or um, going to events, be a guest speaker or a coach at an event. Um, that right there is really uh, juicy to me <laughs> because you guys can um, actually talk about what you know about. Um, you can talk about the products that you sell to help you uh, get additional monies or whatever that product stands for. Whatever you specialize in and whatever you you know whatever you feel that you are great at, you want to get speaking engagements. And I really, really, really like the speaking engagements because you're not you're not exchanging hours for money. You're actually just presenting yourself and you get a chunk of money for your time. If I said that right. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. It's not like, okay, per hour you get X, Y, or Z. You might for a speaking engagement get anywhere from $250 to $1,500 and above. I ain't at that level right now where I'm getting like $5,000 or anything like that. So I'll get there though, one day, I think I will. So yeah, do, do speaking engagements, do events. Those are wonderful. Publishing is another stream of my income. So really in this video, I'm talking about my streams of income. So publishing, um, my published work from my doctoral program is published and Pro, ProQuest will send me a check every month for people and students who want to use my work to support their research or whatever, something like that. I'm also um, uh, a writer or author in uh, additional books that are circulating throughout the community and um, I get a uh, stipend or pay for that as well. So that's pretty passive as well. Um, so that's another thing. Also, I also have rental property. So, which I really don't say right away, go out and try to buy some rental property for passive income because it's a lot of work putting, uh, that you have to put into having rental property. But I do have rental property. I have five properties um, that I manage and I manage them, them myself. So that does take time. Um, I don't recommend that right away. Uh, it's not passive at all. It's just one of the streams of incomes that, that I do have. And um, I thought I was gonna love it, you guys, but I don't love it. I don't love it. Renters are brutal, okay? They are brutal and they, they don't take care of your stuff. But um, for tax purposes, for, um, you know, certain things, I really do need it because when you have a certain amount of income, you have to have something to write off for tax purposes. So, um, and in the end, I want to have a legacy for my kids. So really initially, I bought two of the properties for my son and my daughter. So that's theirs for when they become <laughs> to the point where they can handle it. Um, yeah, that. Also, I feel like another great stream of income for me was my degree, getting my DMP. Honestly, getting my DMP was, um, has really afforded me the opportunity to have another job uh, teaching. And I teach online um, uh, nursing students. So that is another form or stream of income. Now you don't have to have your DMP to teach. Don't get me wrong, that's not what I'm saying. If you have your master's, you can teach as well. So I find that um, when you have your master's and you want to teach in the family nurse practitioner program or a nurse practitioner program, you can only teach clinical classes online. With your uh, doctorate, you can teach the didactic and clinical. So you have some more flexibility and you get paid more to do that. So that's another stream of income that I have. I also have a part-time job um, and a couple part-time jobs. And what I do, I um, go into a different setting and I will do their clinical work for an hourly wage. Now, um, you know, that has really served me well doing that. Um, I don't do it often. I only sign up when I wanna sign up, but if I want something additional and I want a, to go somewhere or buy something, I do use that uh, as a means to do that and not touch any of my savings. Um, okay, so I think that um, that is very important to 
get some type of part-time work because you just don't know what's gonna happen. Just like with this pandemic, we did not realize that we were gonna be in this type of situation where, you know, it really, turned a lot of people's lives upside down and if um, you don't have different streams of income it it could be a situation where you know it's pretty rough so you don't want that to happen so the last thing that i want to talk about is coaching so my last stream of income is coaching i um, have coached several students who need to uh, get into grad school, how to get jobs, how to write resumes, how to write your application to get accepted into programs, and just motivation, just, just being there as a coach to help them through a hard time um, while at work or even their first job. So those are the things that I do for different streams of income. And really, I do think that anyone could do any of those things. You don't have to have as many as I have per se, but I'm just that type of person. And I find that most uh, nurse practitioners are, most of my friends, I mean, I really don't. I'm actually a slacker compared to some of my friends. Uh, <laughs> some of my friends have way more streams of income and way more jobs than I do. So um, yeah, so that's really all that I wanted to talk about today that you really need to up your game and get yourself another stream of income so that when times get rough like they have in the last past uh, year, year and a half, you have something to fall back on and you're not so stressed out about how, about how you're going to get um, income. So hey guys, if you like this content, then please smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, uh, leave me some comments, tell me what you're doing out there. I know a lot of people are doing things like aesthetics, scrubs. I also did a video on nurse entrepreneurship, so you might want to check that out also for specifically two nurses. Um, yeah, so hey, get it going. All right, guys. Thank you. That's all. I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.